All right, you cool cats and kittens. We're here day two of functions. Okay, talking about functions and relations. This is again day two, all right? So this should be kind of a review from Monday and Tuesday of this week. All right, so again, a relation. Okay, a relation is a set of order pairs or a set of points. A function is a specific type of relation. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about Every function is a relation, right? Okay, so think back to what you know about two-dimensional shapes. Okay, so if you can see, I've got a square here, and I've got a rectangle. Okay, so what do we know about squares and rectangles? All right, well, we know that opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Okay, so opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are congruent. Okay, and then we have all 90-degree angles. Okay, but what do we know about a square? Well, we know a square has all sides that are congruent. So every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square. Well, in the same respect, okay, we can look at functions and relations. So the same comparison is true for relations and functions. A relation, first blank, a relation is simply a set of ordered pairs. Okay, so again, a bunch of points put together. A function is a special type of relation in which there is only one output or the y value or range for each x value. Okay, again, this is your key right here, guys. Do not forget that. That's what this is the difference between just a relation and a specific type of relation, which is a function. Okay, so every function is a relation but not every relation is a function. Okay, so that's what I was getting at here. Every function is a relation, okay, because every function is a relation, but not every relation is a function, which we looked at some examples yesterday, and we'll look at some more examples today of non-functions. Okay, so here we go. I've got it written for you. Every function is a relation, but not every relation is a function. So let's look at some, okay, so the functions. We've given a list of ordered pairs through multiple representations. Again, you have four different types of representations. If the x values repeat, then it is not a function. Okay, if the x values repeat, it is not a function. So we're going to look at our set notation here. Okay, or our list. Same thing. You'll hear me say both. Okay, so our list. So I'm looking at all my x values. So I care about the 3, I care about the 5, I care about the 6, I care about the 7, and I care about the 10. Because again, what a relation is, is a relation is it simply a set of ordered pairs. Okay, well again, what's an ordered pair, Coach Sapp? Well, an ordered pair is a coordinate, right? An ordered pair is an x value and a y value. And all I care about is this sucker right here. Okay, I can only have one x value mapped to uh, one y value. Okay, you can only have your x values mapped to one y value. So all I care about looking at my points is the 3, the 5, the 6, the 7, and the 10. So none of those repeat. None of those repeat to a different y value. So yes, this is a function. But then when we look at number 2, okay, again, I care about the x value, so I'm looking at 0, 2, 3, 2, and 3. Okay, well, 2 maps to 3, but then again, 2 maps to negative 5. So my x value repeats, but it goes to a different y value. So it is not a function. Okay, same thing. The 3 maps to the 4 and the 3 maps to the negative 6 as no y no. Okay, because again, your x value cannot repeat to a different y value. All right, so number two is not a function. That's what it looks like in set notation. Okay, well, let's look at some more examples. Number three and four, I've got mapping for you. Again, these are my x values. These are my inputs. These are my y values. These are my outputs. So I gave the example of toast, right? So here's the bread. It goes into the toaster. It comes out as toast. The x values go in. The y values come out. Input, output. Again, the x value cannot repeat to a different y value, right? The x values cannot repeat to a different y value. That's what makes a function. 
Okay, so I'm looking at my x's, negative 4, maths to negative 2, 1 maths to 7, 5 maths to 0, 12 maths to 0. This is a function. Now, I know that the y value repeated when it was 0, but that's okay. Okay, so repeating y values are okay. Repeating y values are okay. The problem is when the x repeats to a different y value. So all of these arrows could point to zero. Just as long as there's not two arrows coming off of this negative four, then we'll get you. Okay, but let's look at number four. If I look right here at zero, the zero maps to the negative seven, the zero maps to the three. So I've got two arrows coming off of that zero going to different outputs, different y values, not a function. All right, five and six are your table of values, your t-chart. Again, your x values cannot repeat. Where you look at here at negative 10, goes to the negative seven, it goes to the negative four, not a functiones. You're looking at number six, five goes to two, negative two goes to three, zero to two, four to three, 10 to two, 15 to two. Yes, it's a function. And then last but not least, we talked about the vertical line test with the graph. Again, we're very clever with our names, right? But all you're going to do is you're going to draw vertical lines through the graph. If it touches more than once, if it touches more than once at any point on the graph, then it is not a function. All right, so if I'm looking at number seven, I've got a circle here. If I draw a line right here, boom, it touches once, boom, it touches twice not a function. All right, let's go to number eight. Number eight, I've got a set of points. Okay, so I can draw a vertical line through these points, touches once. I can draw a vertical line through these points, touches once, touches twice. So we know right now this is not a function. Why? Because I have a point right here and I have the same x coordinate for that point, but a different y coordinate. So the x value repeats, but to a different y value. So number eight is also not a function. Number nine, we're looking at a linear graph here. If I was to draw vertical lines through it, we're good. So yes, this is a function. And then last but not least, number 10, Okay, you have this line right here, it's a vertical line. Okay, well if I'm gonna draw a vertical line through the vertical line, that thing is gonna touch infinite many times. Right, it touches here, 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 here. Okay, all the way through the line. So that is not a function. Again, the big takeaway. Okay, the big takeaway to determining functions is right here. There is only one output for each input. Okay, so the x values can not repeat to a different y value. So the x values cannot repeat to a different y value. All right, determining functions.